Hey everyone, welcome. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss in details ReactJS roadmap for 2024. Now this video is going to be extremely beneficial for all of you. So before starting the roadmap, just humble request to everyone, please bear with me for five minutes. There are some points I want to mention and I think it's really important to clear these uh, points. So I just uh, searching on YouTube and I can see a lot of videos related to this. It's like uh, how you can become a web developer in 30 days or how you can become a full stack developer in one month. Now is that is the truth. So let me answer you that. Now you will, you might think that why it is uh, important to discuss these things. Now it's very very important. See you can't become a web developer or full stack developer in one month. That is the truth. Alright. You need at least three to six months to master this. Alright not master i'll say also to become a at least beginner to intermediate level and to master this one you need to at least give good amount of time from 6 to 12 months and this is very very important all right uh, so the reason is why i'm telling these things because your final objective is not only to clear the interview and get a job but also you have to perform well in your company or whether you are doing a freelancing so this is one point second point is that so many people will comment that why you always uh, start with a very simple uh, projects not a clone see whenever you learn a new technology and uh, like at the first time if you start creating a very big clone i know that you'll be able to learn it but it's not good for long run so that is the reason theory is also very very important see if theory is not important then why there will be so many documentation if you see like each and every technology there will be a good amount of documentation so i'll highly suggest at least give 15 days to learn the documentation or basically the theory and after that you start creating very simple projects and then move to clone all right or basically complex one so this uh these are the points that i want to mention now let's get started so the first thing is that you can see that the, i'm given like when so there is no when you can start whenever you want how so that we are going to discuss in this video and why now obviously why answer is very simple see react.js is one of the most popular frameworks uh, technologies nowadays all right and the pay scale is also really good and also there are a lot of jobs so if you know or basically if you can master react you will be able to get a job very easily all right so the first thing is that if you are college students or freshers you don't have any knowledge and also so, so many people actually comment like how we can escape tutorial uh, tutorial hell so the answer is very simple see stick to only one documentation and pick each and every topic and then search on google all right follow only one resource now coming to youtube videos i will highly suggest you that there are so many channels uh, they make good videos but also here also you have to stick to only one channel all right so for example if you're a hindi uh, like you uh, love to watch hindi uh, tutorial videos then code with harry is the best channel all right and if you're an english listener then i will highly suggest to follow free code camp and these two resources are more than enough and why i'm telling you that let's say if you want to buy a paid course then also i'll highly suggest that go to udemy and search for top instructor or basically and search for any topic and whatever is coming on the most relevant section just buy only one course and one course is more than enough because i see so many youtubers also they will sell their courses in very high price like five thousand six thousand the same amount if you give in udemy 500 rupees or 400 rupees you'll be getting the same knowledge but what we usually do uh, see we'll basically go to udemy buy a course will not complete that course and again after 15 days we'll go to udemy and then buy another course so in that case you will not be able to finish both of them and again you will be basically fall into this tutorial hell trap so this is what usually happens all right so the answer will be stick to only one resources stick to only one documentation and then just stick to only one youtube channel all right i already mentioned you the uh, mention you the youtube channel name also now coming to the roadmap so the first thing is that for college students and freshers so first you have to basically know the html basics and this is very important because html basics i mean like you will be able to create a simple html page if you don't know this one how you will be able to create a react uh, component all right so html basics you have to know semantic elements non-semantic elements all right those very basic things once you know this one then move to css basics you can know like how uh, background color works what is the css background property colors font size 
position absolute relative this concept then move to flexbox grid and you will be more than uh, like you will be good to go and also you have to know the media queries also very simple once you'll complete all of this then start your javascript basics and this is also very very important so first of all you have to know all the very simple javascript basics variables closers those things and then you have to know like es6 concept and this is mandatory all right and if you know es6 concept very well it will be very easy for you to learn react once you'll complete all of this then you have to create any project so you can see I mentioned that project based on the three topics above. So in these three topics, once you'll complete this one, give at least I will suggest like 15 days here. All right. If you have time, you can also give one month. That is also that will be good. Once you'll complete this one, then move to React JS fundamental. And one more thing is that this video will be a little long. So first of all, apologies for that. And uh, the reason is because I'll be discussing each and everything one by one. So once you'll complete all of this, then it's time to learn your React JS. So first thing is that you have to follow the official documentation always. And this is very, very important. All right. So docs you have to follow. First, you have to know what is React JS how react.js works behind the scenes the concept of virtual dom and the concept of jsx then write your first hello world all right then you have to move to components immediately because components is the very basic foundation in react so we have two types of components class based and functional components and it's always basically uh, functional components are preferable so this is also very important in inter interview questions also once you know this one then you have to basically write your first functional component nested components so how you will be able to combine multiple components and also let's say there is uh, you have created two components how you can uh, import one component and use that component as a child inside another parent component once you'll complete all of this you have to start learning props so props is basically a concept how you can pass data or communicate between two components all right so how you can pass data from parent component to child component how you can pass function as a prop and also the vice versa and this is very very important interview questions also like how you can pass data from child component to parent component once you'll know this one then you have to start learning state state i mean like if you see you also have to know class component so here you have to learn how to how set state method work how you can update state this very basic concept then you know conditional rendering all right so once we uh, once you learn this conditional rendering this then you have to learn the concept of list and the concept of keys and this is also interview questions you can see i already marked it once you know this one then create small components like button list all right uh, using ul li then inputs like that then you have to learn how you can conditionally ren uh, render multiple components this is also very very important concept then move to component life cycle how event handling works and implement a very basic form then you have to learn all of this that on change method on click method and on submit method so most of the time we'll be using uh, these methods once you'll complete all of these then it's time to start learning basic styling so here you can simply write uh, simple css files how you can use css modules and scss or sas so this will be very basic react fundamentals all of this once we'll do all of this then you create a very simple project which combine all the above concepts so whatever things you have learned so far all right then move to very very important react hooks now believe me whenever you'll be giving interview most of the times you'll get questions from react hooks i can guarantee you that all right so you have to learn all of this first you have to know the very basic and important one use state how you, how you can manage state using this hook then you have to know use effect which is basically a side effect hook so how you can manage different kind of side effect using this hook also how you can do api call so that we are going to discuss later and then it's my personal favorite this is called use context hook or the react context api so how this works so this hook is basically used to manage any kind of global state so let's say you're having two components and these two components are not connected with each other so how you will be able to pass data from this component and the vice versa so in that case what we'll do we'll create a global uh, store and then from this uh, file or basically context will be managing all the states globally and then you'll be able to con consume this uh, this state in these two components although there is no direct connection all right so here this uh, hook is very very important then you are having the use reducer so use reducer is another alternative of this use state hook all right so here 
this is also used to manage any kind of complex state then you are having use ref which is used to manage any kind of uncontrolled elements then dom elements this is also very very important then there are two performance improvement hooks that you have to learn so first one is use callback and second one is use memo so this will basically memorize a callback function and this will memorize a value so this is also a very inter uh, important interview questions that what is the difference between use callback and use memo once you learn all of this so this is also optional like li use layout effect all right so this is similar to this use effect hook but it's better to learn because sometimes in interview you'll get these questions that what is the basic difference between use layout hook and use effect once you'll know all of this now it's time to create a custom hook and this is another very very important interview question that create a custom hook and most of the times they will tell you to implement this use fetch then you are having use window resize use storage and then i have given project 2 which is basically create a custom hook by your own and i've given this one like use on site click so what will happen let's say you are having some model and whenever you'll click on the outside you have to close this model so for this one you'll be creating this reusable hook so this is all about the react hooks once you'll complete the fundamentals and react hooks now it's time to create a beginner project so i've I've given five here if you want you can add so first one is to do so here you'll be adding deleting editing these features then I've given very basic calculator don't worry like why I've given calculator here so this will be very very basic so we can do plus minus those concept then there is a blog app so here let's say you're having some dummy data and you have to render this uh, data in your blog application simple that's it then a simple countdown or timer and then there is a recipe application using some dummy data so here also we are using all of this using dummy data all right because we haven't completed any api so this will be dummy data once you'll complete this beginner projects now it's time to import uh, start working very important data fetching so here you have to basically understand how data fetching works how you can use use effect hook and phase data from api on page load how you can uh, phase data from api on basis on some side effect so for example let's say you're having a button and whenever i'll click on this particular button and there will be a value that value will go to a certain uh, value then only i want to call the api so in that case you have to manage some kind of side effect then how you can manage loading state casting and also how you can handle errors if there are any error from the api then i have given a third party library which is basically tan stack query or react query so this is also very very good things uh, good thing to learn but this is like optional all right so once you'll know all of this then only move to this react query once you'll complete data fetching now it's time to start forms so if you see basic section i already given some basic form so here i think having a event handling a basic form but here now what you'll do you'll do again the same revision so you'll do form handling now this time create a complex uh, form how you can send form data to server so most of the times whenever you'll submit a form you have to send the data to server how form validation works this is also important interview question and then i've given a third party library which is a react hook form or formic either of these both are good you can choose whatever you want all right so i i highly suggest to choose this react to form this is really good all right so this will be more than enough for form section then we'll be having routing so here you have to basically understand how routing works how you can navigate from one page to another page and here react router dom is the best and now it's very very important to implement a basic project with multi pages so for example let's say uh, uh, take this uh, blog app so here you will create two pages one will be list of blogs and then one will be like add a new blog so there will be a button so whenever you will click on this add uh, but add new blog button you'll be going to that page and vice versa so that you'll be able to implement using this react router dom and here you have to use version 6 all right once you'll complete routing now it's time to start working on state management so here state management is i already given you this very basic one that whenever you are you are having very complex application you can't do prop drilling prop dri drilling is basically let's say i'll give you one example so you're having one component inside of this you're using another component inside of this you're using another component now from this component you have to pass data to child one so you have to pass data in a chaining using props that you want to avoid because for now we are having three what happens there is hundred components right so in that case you have to manage the state globally so there will be a global store from where you'll be storing the data and then you'll be consume that data 
all right so here my personal favorite is managing state globally using context context is really good and very powerful you have to create any project using this then we are having redux now again redux we are having toolkit thunk and saga now this i don't recommend because toolkit is the best option that you can use so you need to use redux toolkit then there is like uh, just stand this is also really good this is a little lightweight but redux is very popular and also used in, in enterprise level also so i highly suggest to uh, learn redux toolkit once you learn all of this then create a very simple project using shopping cart and food recipe and i've given here redux toolkit i forgot to mention you to create the same project using context also all right so this will be more than enough for your state management once you'll complete state management now uh, it's time to understand how authentication works so implement any lo basic login form and register form and try to implement the authentication uh, which is jwt then we are having auth2 auth2 is basically like we have different provider uh, something like google facebook github and on click of that we want to uh, authenticate a user and then try to implement a project using firebase firebase have some inbuilt authentication methods that you can use and then there is a, a new uh, package that is called superbase so this is also very popular so you can learn both I'll, I'll suggest to learn both this both are really good once you'll complete all of this now you can start intermediate projects see how i've uh, floored this one if you start learning a complex project at the first it will be very difficult so intermediate projects i've given first weather application with data fetching so you have to fetch the data from api then I'm having some expense tracker and also in all the projects you have to implement routing because you already understand routing right so routing we have already covered here and then I've given a quiz app then movie app and then a simple e-commerce app now this is simple not a complex one all right and try to implement all the concepts that you learned so far then uh, there are some third party styling uh, that libraries you can use so my personal favorite is tailwind css this is i also recommend you can also learn material ui because this is also used in enterprise level also and if you have time you can also learn chakra ui but both are all are almost same if you know if you know the base of only one it will be very easy for you to understand others once you'll complete all of this then move to some advanced topics like react memo higher order components error boundaries some design patterns in react now these all are very advanced concept and then render props and then move to testing now i know that most of us don't like testing i also personally don't like but we have to basically know if you go to any product based companies they always write test cases so here uh, i'll highly suggest to start learning just first now you'll notice why i'm not telling react testing library because react testing library is created basis of this jest so if you know jest it will be easy for you to learn this rtl once you'll complete both then practice writing unit test cases by building small chunks of components so let's say you create a button and try to test that button same for input on submit those things now you have completed most of the thing, uh, things so now you can create some advanced projects i've given some options like implement any clone like youtube netflix amazon and you'll get so many resources on youtube you can search then create a live chat app with socket io then create a jira clone which will be a drag and drop feature create a full stack e-commerce app with stripe payment indication and create a complex admin dashboard with theme integration so you'll be able to change the theme now i think you know all of this and then you can learn some next steps i've given next js i don't have to explain this is extremely popular and most of the website you will see inspect and it's created on next js so it basically covers this concept of file based routing how you can implement full stack apps server side rendering server components all of this now think for one minute and you notice that whether you will be able to complete all of this in one month no right so that is the reason i already mentioned that give at least three to six months to learn all of this and if you have one year it will be very good and at the end you can see practice you have to practice a lot and that is the only key to success so that is all about the react.js roadmap i hope that i help you in this one if you have any query you can comment down and if you like this video give a like please subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video till then good luck and peace